going on YouTube? Today we're gonna do a quick video on changing the spark plugs on a 2015, 16, 17, and 18. So the first generation Jeep Renegade with the 2.4 liter. Uh, the tools we're gonna go over that we need. We're gonna need your ratchet. Um, just an extension, a 10 millimeter socket, and your 5 8 spark plug socket. We're gonna jump right over here first thing. And take that 10 millimeter bolt out. Then there's three rubber grommets holding the rest of this on. We'll pop this cover right up. And then we'll be able to get to the coil packs, remove those, and get to the spark plugs. Got myself a three inch extension and a 10 millimeter. Go ahead and remove this one 10 millimeter bolt. Set that to the side. Now this cover, just lift over here. And then grab on the side over here. And then the back. That cover comes right off. We're gonna need to remove these 10 millimeter bolts that are holding the coil packs in place. So each coil pack has just one. And then we should be able to lift them right up and grab our other extension with the 5 8 socket and loosen up these spark plugs and pull those babies out. Now, can just lift up. And there's your coil and your boot that goes down to the spark plug. Just set those to the side, be easy with these wires. You can also unplug these just by pulling this red tab back. and they pull out just like that. But I'm gonna leave mine connected, just so nothing gets mixed up. The second one. Third. And the fourth. As you can see, you don't have to pull these bolts out all the way. Just loosen it up just enough so it's not in the threads anymore where they screw in. I have a 10 inch extension. It's probably overkill. You could probably use an 8 inch. Go ahead and Loosen your plug up. Quite a lot of threads on these spark plugs, but there's your first plug.
You're just gonna repeat, repeat this process right down through all four cylinders. If you're having, if you don't have a spark plug socket that has the little rubber grommet inside that holds onto the plug, you can grab yourself a magnet, just reach down in there, and the magnet will grab right onto the top of the plug, and that'll pull it out. I'll add the spark plug types and numbers for the for this model in the video. There's a few different types that you can get. I believe when you get them, the factory OEM ones for this Jeep Renegade, it should already be pre-gapped to factory gap. But if not, I will also add that to the video. There's our last plug. I just changed these plugs about 5,000 miles ago, so I'm just gonna reinstall these ones. I'm just doing this video for educational purposes. Hopefully help some of you guys out. But this is the Champion REC. If my camera will focus. 10 WMP. B, all right, B4. And this is the OEM plug that comes in these vehicles. You should be able to pick these up at your local part, part store or go right to Jeep, Dodge Jeep, any of those places. You should be able to pick these plugs up. <clears throat> go ahead and grab your extension, and your socket, your spark plug socket. Easily put them back down in. Start threading it in by hand. Do not just go ahead and use an impact or your ratchet to get these started. You got a chance of cross threading and then you're running into some serious problems. So what I like to do is go right down the line. Get them all hand tight. If you don't have one of these um, spark plug sockets, lower them down with your magnet. Give this video a like if it's helping you guys out. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Appreciate every single one of my subscribers. Tightening these spark plugs, your new plugs, will have a crush washer. Once you get them hand tight, grab your ratchet and you're gonna wanna tighten it until you feel, you'll slowly feel that crush washer collapsing and you're just going to want to snug it up just slightly. For old plugs, you just want to get it tight like right there and just maybe go eighth of a turn. Go ahead right down all four plugs. Now you got your new plugs in. 
I forgot to mention at the beginning, you're going to want to get yourself some dielectric grease. And the reason is, you're going to want to apply some right around this area of your spark plug boot. And that is to keep water out. If water ever gets down in here, it can cause like a short. There you go. Didn't want it to come out that much. You don't need very much, just enough. Just want to go around the edge. Just like that. And you can go ahead. Stick it right down. Make sure you push down nice and firm. Lock it onto the spark plug. And go ahead to your next plug. Put the dielectric grease right around it. Same thing. Need a little bit more grease. And if you guys needed to change your coil packs out, like I said, just push this clip back, unplug your connector, and just grab your new coil pack, plug that connector back into the new one, and do the same thing. Add some dielectric grease, just like so. And you'll be good to go. Coil packs are not cheap, but you do need to change them out every so often. All right, make sure they're all pushed down nice and firm. And you're gonna need your 10 millimeter again. First, get make sure they're lined up with your bolt hole. So you might have to turn coil pack slightly. Just get it started with your fingers. Heavy. And grab our 10 millimeter and the ratchet. Get these right where they're snug. Just ever so slightly snug them up. You don't need to over tighten these. doing a how-to spark plugs and coil pack replacement. So, get these all tightened down. Now the last step will be to reinstall the engine cover. Put that one 10 millimeter bolt back in place. And that will finish up the job. Grab our cover. Yours is dirty. It's the time to give it a quick wipe if you want. I'm not going to worry about that. Get this line with your rubber grommets so you can see. One, two, three, and that's where the rubber grommets go. And they go right on these little nubs here. Just line it up. And you can just push down. Just give it a little tap. Grab your 10 millimeter bolt. Start threading that in place by hand. So you just take your extension off your ratchet, 
thread it right down with the extension. Get it where it's finger tight. ever so slightly snug it. You don't want to go too much, you will snap that bolt. And that's it, that finishes the job up. And once again, this is for the 2015, 2016, 17, 18 Jeep Renegade. This may also work on the 2019 and 2020. And this is the 2.4 liter. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Give the video a like, leave a comment. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.